Hey guys, this is Mike from Beat Tech Reviews here, and today we are going to do something a little different, something that I don't normally do here, and excuse the, like, I'm super white-complected because I have kind of a few lights turned on around me, right? So today we are actually going to, we're going to do something a little bit different. Like I said, we are going to uh, take apart a PlayStation 1 console which it's the slim version so i just kind of want to give a backstory of what's going on with with that specifically give me one second while i uh make sure the stream's working okay here but if you guys are just joining in or if you guys are watching the repeat please go ahead and smash the like button looks like we got gene in the house i believe he's finally here and it looks like he shared his uh, channel membership of 16 months so thank you gene for joining in i have my phone set up down here uh, but yeah, for the most part, uh, we are going to do something a little bit differently, uh, non-phone uh, related. So I've been watching like a lot of retro video game videos lately. And last year, I kind of got inspired to kind of buy and sell and and flip, um, I guess, other, uh, I wouldn't say flip, but, you know, at least learn how to repair, do things, and then maybe make some money off of it, uh, flipping older consoles, right? Uh, so I decided to... Um, you know, buy a set of old PlayStations um, from someone off Marketplace on Facebook. And uh, they sold me a few of them for a good price last year. And I just literally uh, forgot that I had them. That they, They've been sitting there for the most part. Let me go ahead and share that link. And again, don't forget to smash the like button, guys, if you guys are joining in, right? Um, let me put the phone over here so I can just kind of keep on the chat, keep an eye on the chat. But... But yeah, pretty much again, last it was around, I think maybe a little bit before last summer or I, maybe it's even been longer. I don't exactly remember when I bought these exactly. I think it was probably after my accident sometime uh, after I, I got the sling off of my arm and I was recovering a little bit, right? So here, let, let me go ahead and show you guys the actual PlayStation itself, right? Here's the console itself, right? And again, thanks again, Gene, for joining in. Let's go ahead and change the view here a little bit so that we can um so we can show off the console itself here right but here's the little ps1 console that i wanted to kind of share with you guys right so again here's the console itself right uh so what's wrong with it is the laser or something is not working correctly right so i checked on amazon and the replacement for the laser was only about 20 bucks so I thought to myself, well, that, that's not too much of a of, a, of, an, of an investment for me to kind of try to open it up and fix it. So basically, when I first got this console, uh, the power didn't work. So I was like, oh crap, maybe something's going on with the with the power source on the inside. But if you guys look again, if you look at it, there's really nothing wrong with it as far as like the, the ports go or anything like that. So I kind of just sat on it for a while, and finally I decided to replace the power brick that came with it, which they did give me the original Sony uh, power brick, which I believe it's just like a small little 12 volt uh, power brick that, you know, you plug in nothing too crazy. So I ended up buying a replacement off Amazon and sure enough, uh, again, I bought, I, I received it just a couple days ago. The, it actually worked. So the console itself turns on, right? We got Jeremy Dobson in the house. How's it going, Jeremy? So the console does turn on the, the, the power button works just fine you know the the power the lid opens just fine and again i never actually own this version of the ps1 i actually own the, the the fatter version or the original version which i have sitting over there i bought two of them i bought this one and then i bought the original fat one the, the original fat one works just fine uh this one specifically again uh you know needs a little bit of work so again i was able to find the replacement part on amazon at least i'm hoping that I it's the correct part on Amazon. I guess we're going to find out once I open this up. Right. And I bought and I have my tools here ready, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over that with you guys a little bit and, and think, Hey, you know, would you guys be interested in watching this? It looks like we have a few people watching. So again, guys don't hesitate to smash the like button. Let me get my uh, AC turned on. Cause it is getting a little bit hot inside. Right. And then we'll go from there. Right. So again, appreciate anyone that's watching currently. If you guys end up watching the replay, thanks again for watching um and again this is something new for me i've never done this you know the console is a little bit dirty again i don't know if you guys can kind of see uh it is a little bit dirty like on this side there's a little bit of scuffing the bottom portion uh like the the original 
the original bottoms are kind of just coming off. I actually, it actually had a sticker right here because I guess whoever was selling them, they actually belonged to a school district. And I guess the school district, uh, you know, decided to sell off the PlayStation ones. Obviously it's, uh, you know, I bought them last year. No, I wouldn't say it's dusty, but it's just dirty. Like it's got like marks on it and whatnot. But for the most part, it's actually relatively clean considering the, the, the tag is peeling off a little bit. So that kind of, that kind of sucks. So what's up Latrizzle? How's it going? We got Latrizzle in the house. So this console actually came out before Latrell was born guys. So that's how old this console is. So that makes you feel a little bit young Latrell because you are, but yeah. So I actually was playing one of these back in the late nineties. Uh, this was actually my first, like one of my first consoles. So I actually own the original Nintendo and I actually uh, had the Super Nintendo, and then instead of going for the N64, which a lot of people were doing at the time, uh, I ended up opting for a PS1 because I wanted it to be a little bit different than everybody else, right? And I kind of liked the fact that it was CD-based rather than cartridge-based. I was, I was thinking to myself, okay, this is going to be the future, right? Having having one of these, so I was like thinking to myself, okay, you know, let me go with one of these again. Again, I had the fat version of this. I didn't have the mini version, which I I always appreciated the small version of it and the the simplicity of it because it's really just again plug and play you put the disc in you get your memory cards your your two ports for the memory cards which i bought a memory card by the way so if i get this working i do plan to buy one or two games and maybe do some live stream gaming with you guys and of course this baby over here which again um this is a converter right even though uh, my tv actually has like component cables that go with it you can actually co plug your component cables into this and then you just plug the hdmi into it so i actually plan to do that so so we'll see how that goes again you know this is going to kind of be a work in progress i actually need to get like another screen or another monitor over here so i can kind of get that going but let's go ahead and you know take this apart um well actually you know what before we do that uh Again, just just let's let's read a little bit of information about the PlayStation One before we get this going. And I know you guys are excited to watch me unbox or un, not unbox this, but kind of take this apart. But let's go ahead and see if I can actually uh, do a, a quick share screen really quick of the PlayStation PlayStation specs really quick. So again, this is the Sony PlayStation, the original re released in 1995. Again, this is GameTrog.com. I'm just using the information here. Um, there was 102.5 million units of, of this console sold worldwide, which is pretty crazy for its time. Resolution was 640 by 480. Colors available were 16.7 million, which was true color. 32-bit system. Uh, RAM was 2 megabits uh, main and 1 meg megabit onboard. So obviously not a very, very high-spec console for its time, right? Even though, you know, it was the first kind of 3D console, one of the first 3D consoles of its time. 16-bit uh, sound, 24-channel, uh, six uh, games released for this was 1,300. So that was a lot of games for this console, guys. And there was a few uh, different versions of this, as you can see here. The one I had was actually the one in the middle, the original one uh, that you can see here, um, which was not bad at all. You know, I actually had that one. Uh, I think one that's worth the most money is actually the one on the bottom with the three uh, with the three composite cables, which. That was one of the first gen models but again the, the one that i got from my the one that my parents got me when i first got this was the one on was the one in the in the middle i believe because it had that that little secondary port in the back and i had this console for a long time i had it for about five you know five or six years and so i just kind of passed it on after i got the playstation 2 i ended up just i either i think i ended up giving it to my to, to my younger cousin or something like that he might have it i'm not 100 percent sure I ended up passing a lot of my older consoles to to him because he he's a huge collector so he liked collecting uh the video games the one i purchased was actually the one that did not have the dual shot console uh or the dual, dual shot controller so i actually had the version that didn't have any dual shot controls and of course into and that's when they decided to release the mini right so i actually bought the original in 1998 i believe the console came out in 90 and 95 96 uh so it came out a little bit later here in the states other than japan but again this is the one we'll be looking at, which is model scph 101 uh and again you know whatever improved on it improved right they you know the the, the size obviously improved spec wise pretty much the same thing but the cool part is back in the day 
you can kind of carry this around with you. Like, you know, you, a lot of people bought adapters so, so that they can play it in their car on road trips, right? So pretty cool. Again, a lot of little accessories that came with it. Again, there's the original remote. I actually had that one. And then, of course, PlayStation finally upgraded to the analog stick, which again, thank you, Sony. You know, it wasn't, you know, the analog or the, that wasn't really like original. Obviously, if you guys follow the, uh, you know, the Atari system actually was like one of the first consoles that had kind of like a an analog or a joystick that kind of, you know, made games, you know, easier. And then, of course, Sony re really introduced it. And of course, along with N Nintendo with the N64, right? But anyways, again, just kind of going along. So again, I played many, I spent many hours on this console and I think my original console eventually died. So let's go ahead and stop sharing this again. I, you know, there's so many titles that, you know, you can get with this. Uh, so, so many fun games back in the day, but let me go ahead and stop sharing this and let's go ahead and, and get to opening uh, this device here. So, and again, I, I'm hoping I bought the right part. So Latrell in the house. I don't know if he's still there. Say hi, Latrell. And Latrell, don't forget to smash the like button because I know you already forgot. So on the bottom here, trying to figure out what type of screws. I, I believe they're just very small, very small um, Phillips. You know, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like the N64 where they had like a bunch of different, um, you know, I guess, different like screws that really you know americans couldn't take off so let's i'm hoping that let's see lefty lucy let's see let's see i've never taken one of these apart i've never watched any videos on how to on take one of these apart guys so this is going to be the first time i'm hoping none of the screws get stripped just because you know i definitely want to i should probably get something over here to to uh hold on to the screws these are a lot longer than they look by the way hold on let's see if i can get that on camera by the way they i thought they were going to be a lot shorter but they seem to be pretty long i'm trying to figure out if there's maybe a hidden screw i think there is one right here uh under this area which i might have to again jump into a little bit later i might have to change the head on this by the way let's go ahead and get that going but how, I hope everyone's doing good. Again, you know, I'm, I've been doing all right. I've just been working a lot at my main job, guys. Um, so that's been fun. Uh, I'm doubling the next two days, so I'm going to be kind of preoccupied with that. But I hopefully will plan to get a few Samsung A54 videos out very soon. Yeah, I need to get like a little bowl or something like that so I can, so I don't lose these screws. Although really, I think if I end up getting this fixed, I don't know if I plan to resell this or not. Let's see if I can. There we go. Definitely don't want to strip these screws because I don't want to have to bust out my power drill. I'm trying to see if it's even coming out. Yeah, it's coming out. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's go back to that one. Let's go back to that one. This might be a fell video already, guys, just because these screws are kind of packed in there pretty tight, if I can be honest. Okay, I need to. I think I need to swap out the the head of this screwdriver to something a little bit bigger. That one's a little tiny. And if not, I might just bust out. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Is this a flat head? No. Hold on. I might have another screwdriver laying around here. Give me one second, guys. One second. Hot over here. We are dying of heat stroke, guys. It is hot in my room. It is hot. Okay, here. okay, I can't find it, so let's just go back to trying to use this one that I have here. It feels like the screws that I'm trying to get out are kind of stuck. All right, again, maybe I'm just not putting pressure. Okay, this one is coming out. But let me know how you guys are doing. Gene, Latrizzle, whoever is watching. I know there's a few of you guys watching, so please smash that like button. Again, this would be the first time I ever tried taking apart one of these systems here. Okay, this one is coming out. It's just taking time. So I'm seeing six or five screws that are visible, but I know I'm going to have to dig into to that sticker right there. And I feel like the bottom already wants to come off. So I'm hoping this is an easy uh, replacement, guys. 
There we go. Luckily, this this screwdriver has like like some sort of a. It's kind of like a. I wouldn't say a ratchet, a socket screwdriver, but it lets you turn it a little bit easier. This is a little tight though. Already clicked the. You already clicked the like button. Thanks, uh, Gene. And again, thanks for 16 months. I didn't realize that I had. I, I sometimes I forget I have membership, but I really want to give you guys a shout out, uh, especially Gene. Gene, I know you're one of the OG, you're one of the OG members of this channel. So again, I really appreciate that. And guys, be on the lookout because I do have some new videos coming up. Uh, I am going to do some retro, again, uh, some retro gaming. Maybe not some retro gaming, but let's see. Let's see. Okay, the bottom is kind of coming off already. But I'm telling you, there's there is a hidden screw right here which I'm just going to have to kind of get in there and there we go. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can lift that. There's kind of a hidden screw right there underneath it, but I'm not going to break any warranties because this thing is way past its warranty. <laughs> there we go. Way past its warranty, by the way. Let's see if I can even get it to come out with the, <laughs> with the sticker there. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. It kind of just came out on its own. I really enjoy your content. That's why I stay so long. I really appreciate it, man. And again, I know you've been busy with work and whatnot. So again, you know, appreciate the time that you take to come out and watch my videos when you can. Again, I know it, it could be difficult. So, okay, uh, let me okay, let me kind of remove this because it's just kind of coming off now. <laughs> so, so the the actual lid, there's no co connectors coming off with it, guys. These are you guys want to see the inside of it, which is really not that dusty, surprisingly. But there's the three screws that connect there and then the three screws that connect here and you know the lid pops opens and closes like it should i'm gonna probably put that on my bed um so really what i'm gonna replace is this which it's not it doesn't look like there's really a lot of things holding it in i can see that there's the power connector is right here i need to figure out and it looks like it just comes off look at that okay not not definitely not a hard removal at all so it looks like there is another power cable over here so this is probably the, the regular power i'm going to take that off let's go ahead and unplug that and then this little strip connector which sometimes i find hard to take out because i'm not really too familiar with and again i wish i could zoom in for you guys uh, the way i have this mounted it's not ideal i do apologize um but let's see some of this let's pull that one off and then and then let's see how we can get this one off let's see and luckily this just comes off like that like look at that so basically it the the reason why i'm place, replacing this is because it's not reading discs guys like it's not wanting to um to read any discs so i was just like you know what let me see if i can replace it or if i can find a replacement online for cheap and obviously this doesn't look like it's there you go. I don't even know how this goes in exactly. I had to figure that when I had to figure out how to put that back in. Kind of had to force it. I had to force it out, which I'm hoping that getting the the, the 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 new connector back in is not hard. But if you guys look at it, this is basically the the brain powers of the actual system itself. Because I mean, it, it reads off the discs. So so i don't know if i can pull this off i guess let me see if i can pull this off just to kind of show you guys what the inside of the console looks like a little bit and then we'll get that going let's see how that went exactly okay there you go i had to pull it out like that and goes in just like that and this is really not that this is that that little connector that i was having trouble with guys by the way so really not it's not really a hard connector but it's not it's very fragile so like it could break and again, I don't know if it was the laser disc. I actually, I actually cleaned as much as I could with like a Q-tip and some uh, some some alcohol, some some isopropyl alcohol, right? But it just wasn't you know wanting to do anything. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna see if I can replace this. So again, let's go ahead and pull this out. That's the old one. I'm gonna throw that on my bed because I have a new one here in the box here. Again, I I I do have an affiliate link, guys. So if you guys are interested in doing something like this then we can check that out but again i'm gonna go ahead and pull this up really quick just so you guys can kind of see uh the components that go with the playstation so there it is here is the actual the little motherboard kind of tiny um 
you see a slew of different chips down here so definitely i'm not familiar with this but i think it's pretty cool looking at this right and seeing uh, the little bit of technology that you know entertained me you know over the lot when i was a young kid so there's that <laughs> Um, doesn't look like anything needs thermal paste. I'm pretty sure everything is just kind of straightforward. Uh, a lot of the newer consoles, uh, let's get that back in. I'm hoping I can just slide that back in there. A lot of the newer consoles, guys, uh, you know, again, they run on CP. They have a CPU and a, a dedicated GPU. Uh, these older ones, obviously, you know, I'm pretty sure it's just a very, very old system here. But let's go ahead and take a look here. I actually had bought a little... A little tool set off amazon that i thought i was going to need and i probably won't need it but this little tool set that i got off amazon which i will probably need for my next uh, unboxing uh which it, that one you know th that'll be a surprise but it's called uh the Jorset precision screwdriver set and i'll go ahead and leave a link in the, the description below but it is a, again a little bit of a screw it's kind of like what i have there but this one has more tools it has more like little things that i can use it has like a little um i guess little tweezers also it comes with like a little duster as well so if like anything's dirty i can kind of like go in there and, and clean it as best as i can uh the little picker so if i have trouble opening something up you can do that and just a bunch of little different things that you know it came with that that i know i'm gonna end up using so i'll just go ahead and put that aside for now kind of hard to close but we'll go ahead and leave that there so let's go ahead and get the new one on so again this is the new laser that i purchased off of amazon this was like literally like 20 to 20 bucks i think less than 20 bucks i think i paid like 17 or 18. i'll go ahead and leave a, an affiliate link in the description below just for anyone that might be interested in doing this themselves right uh, and and you can do this with the with the og system as well guys so just keep that in mind right um you know that you can get these off ebay or Am or amazon as well well let's see am I doing this right there you go. So the power cable, I might actually have to pull the old power cord from the other, the other one. At least this one comes with this one, but I think I actually have to pull the power cable from the old one or is it, or does it just come out? No. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. I need to figure out what's going on with that The little connector. Cause this one, the old one has a connector that comes with it, but the bot the, the one that i ordered did not come with the connector so that's kind of a shocker so i actually have to pull this connector off really quick which it's just a it's just a small little wire I'll go ahead and put the old one aside over here and let's go ahead and get this one plugged in let's see if i can you kind of really need like precision hands to do all this because it is kind of hard to like just get everything in there although it, it seems like it just plugged in just fine so what I think I'm going to have a hard time with is this, this other connector. So let's go ahead and just literally, it just literally mounts back in like this, guys. It, it's not that hard. But again, I have to I have to see if I can get this back in here really quick. One second, guys. No one's commenting, guys. What's going on? Okay, I think I managed to get it in. That's what she said. So it literally just goes back in like this. I can get it to stabilize a little bit because it's got it's got to hit like three little three little points over here. So that way it's not moving around. So now that it's not moving around, again, all I have to do is just plug this back in, and that's it. And I can put I can put the little piece of tape back. Although I don't I don't I don't really think that matters but i'm hoping this turns on guys i'm not 100 sure i wish i had the uh you know my uh power cable so i can just see if it turns on but i feel like i i did not get that little thing in there in right so hold on let me unplug this again and let me just try to give it a tug just to verify because it doesn't look like it's in all the way but you know you kind of got to put a little pressure there we go there you go. I saw it. It pushed it in. I pushed it in just a little more. It, it made like a little click. So now I kind of know it's like in there. Or for the most part, at least. Let me just try pushing it in as much as I can. 
And I'm going to see if I can set up the camera so I can kind of show you guys me turning this on. I'm hoping it does turn on. Again, I, without touching the laser or anything like that. Because, again, this laser replacement is so expensive, guys, by the way. It's so expensive. But basically, that's it. You just have to put the lid back on. Just like how you took it off. I don't think, again, this little piece of tape, you can probably put any type of tape in there. Like, this one's probably not going to stay on just because. But everything seems to be mounted in there. The housing just the way it should be. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can get this back on the actual console now because, again, I don't know if there's any if there's anything I'm missing here. Let's see. Because it looks like these holes have to align also. So all these little holes over here have to kind of align. There's a little bit of dust in here, by the way. So let's see what is going on. My AC sounds like it's dying. Which that's not good because I need AC because it's hot. It is a hot summer over here, guys. So I, I don't want to flip this over just because. Just because, but I think this is going to be the challenge, guys. Yeah, this is my first time doing this, so try not to knock on me. Trying to make sure. Oh, you know what? Duh, I have it backwards. <laughs> I forgot that the controller ports are on this side. So it should go in just fine now. There you go. <laughs> Uh, fell on my part, but that's okay. So now all I have to do is just screw everything back in, guys. Hoping I'm hoping the screws go back in just fine. Let's find out. And again, we're gonna. My cousin did lend me a few games, so we're gonna test this out. I'm gonna see if this works. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna change my camera system over here for you guys so that we can see if this will turn on or not. I mean, again, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it does. I'm just doing my best here to make sure make make sure that I'm actually like squeezing the console to make sure that it's that I'm screwing everything in correctly. It seems to be struggling a little bit, but I don't want to like force it in if you guys know what I mean try getting this top screw over here on the right here see this one seems to be going in just fine and I broke that warranty seal so now Sony's not gonna fix the console if I end up uh... if you guys are wondering where I got the, like I got this screwdriver set like at Lowe's I think like years ago some years back I don't remember when I bought it exactly I think I bought it when I was uh, messing around with like my Mac mini back then and i just wanted to kind of take take things apart I, you know I, i'm not unfamiliar with taking apart like electronics especially like computers and and fixing them up and whatnot so you know i'm just kind of a uh, wouldn't say lazy but i guess we'll see how this goes I'm hoping this works, guys. If not, I'm going to have to return this off Amazon. Or if you know what, I might actually send the old one back. <laughs> I might be like, hey, it's not what I needed after all. Boom, send it back. Get my $20 back or whatever. I think I spent like 20 bucks on it. Not that that's not shady. Because who does that, right? <laughs> who does that? Nobody does that in 2020. 2023 anymore. I'm having trouble with this screw over here, guys. There's a few screws I am having trouble with. But for the most part, there you go. You can see, you can kind of see the new, the new laser housing inside of it. So let me go ahead and close that back up so I can kind of try to get these last set of screws in. I'm kind of just trying to do my best because those little plastic, uh, those little plastic stoppers on the inside, they're not very good if I can be 100% honest. And this one's going in just fine. Like some of them. The other ones were kind of giving me a hard time. I think I just need one more. I think this one is the one that's kind of sticking out a little bit. You can kind of tell back here that they're not wanting to make contact. So don't know why, but I guess we'll find out. Let's see if I can get this last screw in and then maybe that one will, maybe that one will hold it hopefully. 
I mean, it's not rocket science, guys. You just have to make sure that you're finding the correct hole. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, this one did seem to go in. But I don't know what's going on. Like, you can kind of see there that... And again, it could be the other screws that are just not wanting to... That one seems to be going in okay, though. Let me try to get those other ones in now really quick. And the reason why I'm kind of holding it up is because I'm left-handed, guys. So it's kind of easier for me to... Like, this one just doesn't sound, sound like it doesn't want to go in. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right. And shout out to guys like Jacob R and Review Tech USA because watching their videos kind of made me want to kind of get into like retro retro gaming a little bit. You know what I mean? You know, it's not something that I particularly do on my channel, but you know, I have an appreciation for the older consoles and you know just old tech in general guys and you know I'm, i mean I, I was a fan of this stuff when i was a kid so i'm 37 if you guys didn't know that already so okay for the most part it kind of looks like it's closed it's not really opening this side probably i'm probably gonna have to op try to open it up again how's the stream looking guys let me know let me know how it looks i don't like you know let me know if the angle is okay for you guys Okay, hold on. Let me know if it looks okay, guys, because, you know, definitely this is the first time I'm doing something. I've never done something like this live. I have done videos where, like, you know, I put, like, a computer together and whatnot, but, you know, I, I film each bit separately. I didn't do a live on that. Okay, I think that's, I think that's going to stay like that, guys. So a little bit of dust came out. One second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. But the stream is tremendous. Okay, so give me one second, guys, while I, I'm going to turn on my setup over here, and then we'll get that going. And I'm actually going to turn this, uh, the secondary camera off really quick just so that we can change the camera angle on it. So right now I actually have it mounted like on my desk, but I'm going to remove that really quick so that I can try to attach it over here so that you guys can kind of see it elsewhere. I'm hoping this works. Let's find out. Okay, one second snaking the wires over here and i just that's okay anyway that's okay i'm right here All right, let's get that turned on really quick. Okay. <laughs> so again, it's not, it's not going to be perfect, guys. Sorry about that. It's definitely not going to be perfect. But let's see if I can uh, fix the angle really quick. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, I'm going to kind of leave it like that for now, and I'm actually going to change the audio over to the webcam over there because I'm going to move to that area. So hopefully you guys can hear me just fine. Let me know. Let's see audio. I'm trying to figure out which webcam it is. I think it's this one. Testing, testing. 
testing, testing. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and and fix that really quick.
How about now? Can you guys hear me now? How about now? Can oh, you guys okay. hear me now? Oh, okay, that is so weird. Okay, can you guys hear me? Hello, hello. Okay, let me see if I can fix this really quick. One sec. So I don't know why. I guess because I turned off my main camera, the secondary camera isn't outputting any audio at all. Like, doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, what I if I, what I have on. Like, if my main camera is turned off, then the second one is not going to get put out any audio, which is kind of weird. Or at least I, I didn't even try like looking at the settings on that. Let's see. Let me take my camera number two. Video settings on that. Okay, nothing wrong with that. So yeah, so what's going on, guys, uh, is I'm not getting a signal to to the device. So it's not working. Let me see. Hold on one second. Testing, testing. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to test out the other uh, webcam over here, guys. Sorry about that. So what's going on is it's not reading the disc. Like, it's spinning. I can hear it spinning on the inside. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. So it's just not wanting to read the discs. It spins. I can tell you it spins because I open it, I put, I close the lid, and then it spins. You can see that it's spinning. Like, let me see if I can show you guys real quick again. Ready? One, two. It. So it's reading. It's reading and it's spinning. It's just not wanting to read the actual games itself. So I don't know what's going on there specifically. Like, I can tell you that the other system works just fine because... I've already tested that one, but for whatever reason, this one seems to be giving me problems. And I, I, you know, I did what I thought was wrong with it, which was replace the laser, but clearly the laser didn't really need to be replaced, but it stopped spinning it. It's like, it doesn't even try to read the disc. Like, it just gives up. Like, it does it for a few seconds, and then it gives up. So, I don't know what's going on with the YouTube chat over here. So, okay, hold on. But if we put, if I turn this off, and I plug everything into the other console, gonna work like I'm gonna tell you that much the other console will work okay let's let's put in another game for this one guys Again, shout out to my cousin. He let me the game. That power button is kind of sketch. Can you guys hear? Gene, can you hear okay? See, that's what it should be going to. And it's not working on, on this little console, which... I feel kind of bad because, you know, it, whatever I bought for it, I guess, didn't work or there might be an underlying issue with it. But you can see here, like this game is working just fine on the PS1. Let's see what 
turn. Tilt it a little bit. There you go. Yeah, I know the angling looks kind of weird, guys. I apologize about that. <laughs> trying to like straighten it out as much as I can. And I don't know why the freaking webcam. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, I feel like I just made it work. It's because I have it like on a jo Joby pod. <laughs> okay, I think I just made it work. And I need a tripod, but I'm missing the little attachment that goes with it. So that's what it should be doing, guys. Okay, I know that looks bad. We'll put it on easy mode. I know this looks bad, guys. Technology is the light <laughs> that will cut through the darkness when humanity comes. Look at those graphics from 20 plus years ago already, guys. They will be unstoppable. I, Dr. Otto Octavius, bow as a scientist and businessman. Okay, I'm going to skip this. It does look pretty sketch, by the way, guys, but. Welcome. We got Bobby Welcome Warren in the house. Welcome. Okay, guys, so. Let's get back to the original setup over here, so. <laughs> so, let me sit back down over here. Let me change my microphone settings over here. Back to my... So, let me know. Okay, again, let's switch this back, guys. So, thank you all for continuing to watch that. You're thinking about being a Disney World... Danny? I don't have no clue what that is, but it is what it is. Um... So yeah, guys, I definitely don't think I succeeded. I thought I thought that was gonna fix the problem with placing that little, um, the little CD drive, which I can tell you the, the new one that I got for it works, but for whatever reason, again, it's just not reading the discs. You know, again, it could be an, another underlying issue. I might have to kind of look up uh, whatever else is wrong with it and see what's going on with that. But for now, guys, I guess th this might be a, a to be continued saga. Because I know it's not the laser because I just replaced the laser, so it can't be that. So there's a, there's got to be another reason why my PS1 Slim not working. So I'm definitely going to have to look more into it. So for now, guys, again, I really appreciate you all watching uh, the video. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button. Bobby, thanks again for watching also yourself. Um, Gene, thanks for again uh, being there with me uh, You know, for most of the shift. Shout out to Latrell. Shout out to anyone else that kind of came in and and watch this video it was a failure video but keep an eye out because i am going to be uh, making kind of more content like this maybe not live stream but I'm, I'm gonna try to piece stuff together of course i'm still gonna stick with phone tech and whatnot but i i am gonna you know try different things out and, and go from there so again guys this is uh, mike from b tech review signing off you guys have a